and I gotta <laughs> scramble. <laughs> it's like, <sighs> yo, when I tell y'all, if y'all don't buy Amazon open box, I'm not getting a deal, child. <laughs> excitement in the beginning of the video i tell myself well i had this little quick light in my bag here yeah, you know get yeah, it for five dollars yeah you know i'll go just put it on and the lighting situation will get a little better inside of here why the battery did? tell me why the battery did so the show must go on right so the wig that i'm wearing oh look at that for this show um is the one that i made using hair inventor number two and i was like you know what i'm gonna put a little picture up here so you guys can see it but i'm like the um yeah i didn't really like the length and remember i said it was a lot of short strands but now at this it's oh honey it's giving everyone needs to give for spring but where do we leave off in last week's vlog remember i told you all i was in a funk and i'm trying to get myself out of it i'm also trying to get off of being on instagram like almost like 24 7 because i'm like i'm being kind of productive like i'm not doing all the things that i want to do um and i'm just wasting time so i can use that time to do other things i left my ipad home today so i couldn't edit the vlog that has to go up tomorrow i've done zero editing and if you are a content creator then you already know editing is what takes up the time and my editing already ain't that good so when i gotta <laughs> scramble <laughs> it's like <sighs> anywho so um and last week's vlog i mentioned you guys you know i got some homeowner stuff going on my furnace has been acting up for months and um i've just been living with it living with it and it's costing me because i'm spending more money in oil because it keeps burning the oil like crazy because this shit won't turn off tomorrow like your own vlog family transparency moment i have been i'm gonna eat some chocolate <laughs> because i'm sure there's something i try for the video i need sweets i don't normally eat sugar but um like my life has been like all over the place lately um it's just like i feel like it's just like taking a toll on me so i have been in a creative funk let me take off this car save on gas so we could because this thing car engine and bigger and <laughs> put more gas in the car comes with it but you know anyway minor things at the moment and um i'm just trying to get it together you know just like everybody else like i said this before and i always try to be kind to people because right you never know what they're going through but people see you being able to hold it together and they assume that because you are good at holding it together you don't have things going on there's a lot of moving parts in my life right now so yeah that, that's so yeah i just figured out our transparency moment and just like tell you guys you know like my mental state not like in my bad way but you know i have a lot going on and i don't come to the internet and tell people about my problems because it's just <laughs> being black and caribbean is not how i've been raised and then also i'm not here looking for like sympathy points from anyone um i just believe i just say no here and worrying about things i just have no choice but to get together a few moments later I did not attempt to report what i got i keep trying to itch my eye with my fingernail but it's not there but i'm gonna show y'all the sneakers that i got Yo, I'm gonna make a TikTok about these sneakers. They're a Brooks. Why didn't I get the instantly comfortable when I put them on my feet? Like, y'all remember the whole debacle I went through with Nike? Yeah, this ain't that. And my friend, you know, Game Time Kick, shout out to him. I'll put his uh, Instagram and TikTok and everything on the screen. But he told me after the fact, Nikes are not made for comfort. They're made to be cute. So, I don't know. So, I gotta clean up my vlog space. It's a mess, even for me. Um, but I wanted to show you all the sneakers that I got. So these are the sneakers. I thought I did a bunch of unnecessary ramblings. So I figured I would just do a voiceover. They are the Glycerin 20s. And they had a lot of good reviews for standing on your feet and also for back pain, which I do have. Um, they are very comfortable, like instantly comfortable, unlike my Nike sneakers. Y'all, I had to, ooh, that just like, I had to 
direction of my camera. I come to my PO box, pick this package up. I'm like, yo, who is this from? So I said, let me use that address. And y'all don't be send. Y'all can send me stuff. Like, if y'all want me to talk about it in the vlog, you know. Yeah, cause we 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 just going on. We we going up from here. You understand? Then I had to remember, like, oh, TikTok shop. This is the second thing I ordered from TikTok shop, and I'm like so excited about it. First I saw it for $27.78 and I didn't buy it because my other gimbal was working. And then all of a sudden I went to turn on the gimbal, the gimbal just didn't work. And now I've had the gimbal for a couple years, but I didn't use it that much. I'm like, why is it dead? <laughs> then they offered me 30% off and I'm like, alright, at least closer to the price I thought I was going to pay. So I paid $32 for this. I know you guys have been seeing it on TikTok shop because they've just been... So I'm excited. I'm excited because this has auto tracking and my old gimbal didn't. Because um, I plan on doing more vlogs like on the go all right so don't mind me i have so many things to unpack for you guys um but because i know it's what you guys clicked on this video for i got a new hair vendor and um i'm really really excited it came earlier but y'all know we open everything here on camera i'm excited this is the way you guys probably haven't seen me in this way in quite some time probably forgot that I had it this is hair that I got from Juicy Hair Affair and then this uh, frontal I got from hopefully my lace vendor it's not raw hair but it looks good enough um, and the lace is this is not HC lace by the way this is just regular lace um, I do have an HC lace I didn't even show y'all like so y'all can see what it looks like yeah. <laughs> Even though April was just telling me about some controversy that Eben is facing, you know, for how they treat work, some of their workers. But I'm like, you kind of get that no matter where you go, if you know, you know. Um, it smells earthy. That's the look I got on my face. Um, they use black zip ties. It smells earthy. but different so this is the 18 inch wavy this is actually looking like it's 20 inches i haven't whipped out the measuring tape in quite some time because y'all know if y'all been here on my channel and y'all know whenever i say a length is a length that's what the length is now i would say something the west on this does look like it's a little bit thicker but the earthy smell that i'm getting from this it's giving that it's shampoo but uh we'll see yeah i knew it this is measuring at 20 inches. I told y'all. Y'all, y'all know. When I say it is what it is, it is what it is. This is what? This is wavy. This is really nice. It's actually a really nice full bundle. You probably have to dust the ends and then it'll probably come to 18 inches. I got three bundles of curly inches because y'all know I got that. Is it 18 or is it 20? No, it's 18. Yeah, I I thought I got everything all in the same length, but the curly is 20 inches from what the package is saying. But um, yeah, this this looks really dark. I'm wondering if they changed the zip ties on this. I do see gray hairs in this though. That's always reassuring. But like. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm a com like, I feel like this is the best hair I've gotten since. Like, I don't, like I just had a good feeling about it. Obviously I'm still gonna do my test. This is measuring at 19 inches, but this is giving, Oh, this is really giving. Are there any grays in this one? There are. When I said grays in hair is always a good sign because that means that it, it hasn't been dyed. Um, and then I got curly. This vendor, however, does carry deep curly. Deep curly is goes for more money but um you know if you want it it's an option 
this is giving deep this is giving deep curly this is giving deep curly chow you know, like when you see it like over like video and stuff it's kind of hard for you to tell and then like sometimes the lighting isn't good so it looks like extremely dark yeah okay we still gotta do our test we don't want to get too excited because every time i get excited i get lit down <laughs> we ain't got time for that so that's bundle curly bundle number one and like i said i ordered ooh, i ordered three curly bundles because I wanted, ooh, this is a little bit silkier. Um, because I'm doing a half up, half down style and I um, I need hair to be able to do that style with. So you see, this is more of like a coarse kind of curly. Yeah. I wonder why they put black zip ties on it. Like I said, it's a different hair company. This more smells like um like a shampoo than a dye. Like I said, I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. And like I said, you're seeing gray strands in it, which is a good indication that hey, you know, this hasn't been processed. So I think this is like a version, this is like wavy. So you guys are probably wondering what this is. This is actually a bucket I got from Target. I paid like eight dollars for it. Four. Where did I get eight dollars? Maybe five bucks for it from Target. It's not really meant for anything other than when I wash hair and test it out to see if it's been dyed. Let's see what really comes off because you can try to hide stuff in my sink because it's a little bit, you know, it's not like clear, clear. But on a white background, baby, what are we going to hide? What are we going to hide? We're not hiding nothing. What I'm actually going to do right now is I'm just going to test out the straight one. Because I'm a little skeptical about the straight one, if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, yeah, the ends of it look good. But this, I know y'all can see how dark that is. I'm going to try to find... I don't know how I'll see. Y'all know when I say I know, I know. And then I got not concerns about this texture like if it's been like processed i don't know if it has been but it just looks a little bit it looks a little uniformed it feels silky like if it was naturally straight um now i know everyone's hair is not going to be the same texture like this more feels like indian curly i don't know i'm gonna wash it all we're gonna wash it all we're gonna head to the bathroom and uh wa this gives curly this definitely gives curly. This is on the cusp of curly. This one, however, gives that it was straight and it was me. And I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll admit that I'm wrong. But that straight bundle, look how dark that straight bundle looks to everything else. All right, so y'all know y'all, right? I'm still very skeptical of this bundle. Um, it definitely looks like it's dyed. I'm gonna try to get show y'all in better lighting, but there's like a reddish brown strand. I mean, there's gray strands, but then it's also really, really dark at the top and brown at the bottom. I don't even know if you guys can tell. Um, the fluffiness in this curly bundle. I mean, before I wash them, I'm like, hey, something is a little off. I know some um, bundles are silkier than others and i thought for a second that this might have been a process curl it's not getting process curled and i also did use the same method um and the curl pattern didn't change i'm concerned about the brown shade i'll be honest with you guys y'all know the last uh, vendor i had it was like i don't know something about it was off but if you can see i don't know that one bundle is really dark and this is supposed to be wavy I don't know. It's just really, really fluffy. So I don't know if it's considered wavy. When I got my wavy bundles before, they were silky, but it was more of like a loose curl. I don't know. So we gotta see. But I got plans. I'm gonna do a half up, half down. I don't know if I should dye this. I may order one more curly bundle from them. 
to see if maybe I get something that more matches this. Yo, so I just set up the light. This is the light. Don't mind the vanity. You know the vanity is a mess. So this is that same light that I have here. I just took the soft box off of it. Yo, when I tell y'all, if y'all don't buy Amazon open box, I'm not getting a deal, child. $98 for these two lights. And it has the option for the battery pack. So I did put the battery pack on here. So now it could be mobile. Because I was really about to buy another one because I'm too lazy to take this off and move it. What is wrong with me? Several days later. We are on the vlog. I'm about to leave work, y'all. Like, I went, I really wanted to come on here and do this earlier. However, I was at work and it was like really, really busy. Um, but this is the wig that AJ ended up making like a custom closure. So I sent it to him for him to prepare it. And then he decided to make me a whole new closure. Shout out to him if you guys are looking. Not doing, not doing. Absolutely not doing. Um, but yeah, so she. Um, speaking of which, that song y'all should y'all should check that artist out. No vibes, Caribbean. Y'all know we gotta support people and small creators and anywho. Um, but yeah, so she, she, he. Um, Decided to make me a whole new closure and use hair from the wig that I had, the closure that I had before. So I ended up cutting it to do like, you know, like whole like long bangs thing. But, um, why, why do I, I feel like I look crazy, I look crazy. Anywho, I put an elastic band on this wig. Oh, ooh, I put an elastic band on this wig to tell, to tell myself, to play it fast, like, hey, cause he, I'm all over the place. I'm sorry guys, I'm tired. I really should be getting out of here because I'm late. I probably should put my mount up. I should probably do this over again. But this is raw, real energy right here, baby. Anyway, um, we wrapping this vlog up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. AJ did me a solid, making the, the closure a little bit wider, giving me more parting space with a limited amount of hair. Made it exactly how I liked it because y'all know I'm the girl that likes a mix between the natural and the machine made with the double knot. So if you're looking for custom, custom, AJ is definitely your guy. Um, but I gotta figure out the logistics of getting this way to fit properly because your girl put on an elastic band. I'm not telling you, it's tight. It's tight? The elastic band is it's tight. My head hurts and made feel like it just squeezing, squeezing my brain matter. I'm about to take this off, but I feel like y'all have seen me enough times on my channel with my hair looking crazy, so I'm not gonna take it off on camera. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, but that's what this is. That after this video. <laughs> Alright, bye. <laughs>